Hi y'all, it's Alice with Vintage Gal 18, so welcome to Mail Art Monday. I am the hostess for the Mail Art Swap over at yourpaperpantry.neem.com. I am doing a 6x9 um, envelope uh, stamping, and so uh, the video prior to this one, you saw me create um, and gesso. First I gessoed my sheet, it's this one right here, I gessoed it. And then I added some ink and let that set. And I told you I was going to come back and show you what I was going to do to finish this off. So now I'm here with this one because I want to work with this. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other one that you saw me do. But I like the way the lines are going down on this one. And I kind of started mimicking another mail art that I saw on Pinterest. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my stamps and the stamp set that I'm using is from I purchased this from Unity Stamp Company. Yeah, the Unity Stamp Company and um it's this set. It's called Beautiful Elements. And so I'm gonna be using this corner one right here, but I'm not gonna use it on this angle. I'm gonna use it on the opposite angle. I'm gonna use that um I guess it's like a fencing chicken wire, that stamped seal type and the heart. And so um, what I'm going to do is get that corner one. Well, should I do the corner one? No, let me do that fencing first. Okay, sorry. I just, uh, Jason needed more cereal, so I had to go get him that. That's why you heard him in the background. So I'm going to get my, uh, I guess chain link fence or chicken wire fence and start stamping that. Pretty much just randomly is where I'm going with this. And it's more of like a, I guess, a background filler. So, do you see that right there? See, it's just like a little filler there. And that is what I'm using this for. Just as filler. Okay. So, I got that. Now, I want to go with my um, corner stamp so this is the way it shows it to be let me see no this is the way it shows it to be so stamp on this side right but of course I'm going to turn it around and just stamp it on this side so let me get that inked up and so I'm just going to get this corner right here That's how that looks right there. Move that to the side. Now I'm going to get my. Um, I'm still using my yellow ink, so I'm gonna get that. This one right here that has a, like the stamp and the seal, and I'm gonna start building up my background and then my main images. So I'm gonna go from lightest stamping to darkest. So I'm going to get, I think this is the way it is, yeah. So I'm going to get it right there, right there, I think I'll get another one right here. Hmm. I'm debating. Okay, no, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, so on yellow. I'm going to also work with this heart and so I'm going to stamp that right somewhere along the lines here. I should have gone a little lower. It's okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with my next color. So I've been using Daffodil Delight and that's by Stamping Up. And so now I'm going to get my Pacific Point. And I'm going to get my stamp and seal right here. Yeah, 
I think that's good. Okay. So since I have that blue out, I'm going to stamp my heart once with the blue. Let's off this one to the side a little. And so that's how that's looking. Okay, so I'm going to cut my Pacific Point away, get my eggplant out at a much darker color. Look, guys, I don't know if you can see. I know I'm going to... There is a red cardinal right outside my window. Let's see if the camera picks it up. Do you see it? How pretty is that? Okay, just off topic. I don't know if you could see that little area right there. So since I'm always recording here, I thought I'd fix that little corner up. So if you see any of my older videos, you'll see that I have nothing at this point, at certain point, and then at a certain point, I fix that up. So that's going to be a little garden there. So I'm not finished, but that's part of it. But okay. Just kind of off topic sorry okay let's get back to this okay so I have my eggplant and then I'm getting my uh, stamp and seal there and I'm gonna start this from the top up here get this one going here get another one there color right there okay so that's that one and now I'm just gonna get my heart so I can do the eggplant color on there there's that so I'm gonna let that dry if you notice you need to be careful like what I did with this gesso and those water ink or I guess they're water-based ink by Tim Holtz for some reason they don't dry up as fast so you need to heat that up or just let it sit so if you notice I'm gonna push my finger down so you could see how much ink I pick up so yeah these you have to be careful when I guess when you're adding to a water base ink and stuff so let me set that to a side I'm gonna bring one that's already pretty much dry I did this last night and it isn't that that dry see how that looks still wet that's still dry so let me set this up with a heat um the heat gun hold on okay so from here what i want to do is i am going to um highlight my hearts a little bit more and um i find that putting white dots for some reason i feel like it gives them a little bit of dimension or it makes them stand out for some reason so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go around with this recollection signature opaque marker broad large snow is the color and I'm just going to put dots around my hearts and I really love recollections markers they are really really cool I've been wanting some nice white, like the roll pen or the gel pen. That works really nice too, but for some reason, I guess maybe I'm running out that it's not so consistent when I'm writing with it, and it just skips, and I hate when it skips. I hate that. So for now, I'm going to stick to this, and maybe buy another gel pen and try different ones out but I have that signal one and for some reason it skips for me okay so those are my highlighted hearts next what I want to do is I want to put happy mail um little stamp that says happy mail let me see no I have that okay here it is so I've had this for quite some time and it just says happy mail there so I'm going to stamp that there and 
Okay, so that's cool. Next, I'm going to get this ink splat also from the stamp collection there. And I'm just going to splatter it here. Splatter it there. Maybe add another splatter here. Okay, so let me let that set a little bit. Okay, so that's how this one's looking. So what I want to do is I'm going to get my other uh, Recollections uh, marker. And I'm going to be using the finer, um, it's an ebony, the finer tip right there. And what I want to do is I'm going to make like a squiggly line. It's going to be, um, let's see, I want you to see squiggly and then line. And then a small circle, a big circle, and a small circle. And then squiggly, and then line, a small, a big, and a small. And again, squiggly, line, a small, a big, and a small. It's not going to be perfect. So from there, I'm going to go all around and do that. Okay, so I finished going all around my page. Next, what I'm going to do is on the larger uh, circles, I'm just going to kind of color it in with this... Um, other recollections and it's called aqua and then it says turquoise aqua turquoise and so I'm going to go in the center and do all that and then on the smaller ones I'm going to get my white and kind of just color it in very little not so much so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you my finished one okay so put that to the side this is my finished one and this one I've already added a um, glaze on it so this is a Tim Holtz distress micro glaze and so this is pretty much like a sealer so if you notice there's like a little sheen on there not so not so um, glossy but there is a little sheen there so that's one of my finished ones so I'm gonna end up doing three total for the swap and in the back I'm so not finished with the back I'm not sure so I've done just little craziness back here I did some happy mail back there I did some different stamping so I might just leave it like that I kind of like that messy look back there um, but the front is what I really wanted to finish up like that so that's my finish I hope you guys like this and I will be back with more videos bye guys